we are going to be solving the value of m here m to the power of 4 plus m to the power of 2 equals 20 okay so we can see the highest power of m is 4 so therefore we are going to be having four possible solutions okay for m so now let's look at this can be written as m to the power of 4 plus m squared then let's transpose this to this side we're going to have minus 20 equals 0 so now from there the next thing we're going to do i can rewrite this as having m to the power of 2 all to the power of 2 because this 2 times 2 will be what will be given for we have m to the power of 2 minus now this i can write this as 4 squared minus what minus 4 right because minus 4 squared is minus 16 then minus 4 we're going to have 0 so now from here the next thing we're going to do let m or let's say y equals m squared that is anywhere we see m we replace by m anywhere we see m squared we replace by y so we're going to have y squared plus y minus then this 4 squared minus 4 equals 0 so now from here the next thing we're going to do we try to connect this and this together because they are having power 2 you have y squared minus 4 squared then plus y minus 4 then equals 0 so now from here the next thing we're going to do here we can rewrite this as what well. this is difference of two squares so we can have it like y minus 4 okay y plus 4 plus y minus 4 equals 0 so what we did here we used difference of two square now when you look at this you can see we have y minus 4 here y minus 4 here so we can factorize y minus 4 out everything here divided by y minus 4 we're going to be left with y plus 4 then y minus 4 divided by y minus 4 we're going to have plus 1 then equals 0 so now from here we have y minus 4 okay y plus 4 plus 1 is going to give us 5 equals 0 so now from here the next thing we're going to do so this is 0 from equation so it is either y minus 4 equals 0 or we have y plus 5 to be what 0 so now from here i will transpose this y or i transpose this to the right hand side it's going to give me y equals 4 here and i'm going to have y equals minus 5 here okay but don't forget that the value we are looking for is not the value of what y so we are looking for the value of m that is the main variable we are having okay having y to be 4 and also and uh, y to be minus 5 so now let's recall we should recall that recall that y equals m squared so therefore here since y equals m squared here yeah, we're going to be having y to be 4 according to what we have so this implies that m we take the square root of both sides okay and that's going to be plus or minus square root of what square root of 4 so here this we cancel this we have m to be plus or minus 2 that is we have m1 to be 2 then m2 to be what m2 to be minus 2 right so now also we go for the second value of y that is when y equals minus 5 right so we're going to have what we're going to have m squared to be minus 5 so now from here let's square root the both sides squaring both the roots square root the both sides okay like this we have square equals the square root of what minus 5 then plus or minus so this we cancel this we have m equals now here plus or minus so we can write this as root of minus 1 multiplied by root of what root of 5 because minus 1 times 5 will give us minus 5 so now here root of minus 1 is same thing as i that is from the law that is complex plane so therefore you're going to have m to be plus or minus this has turned to i then root what root 5 so we have m3 to be i root 5 then m4 
to be minus i root 5. So these are the other two sets of solution we have. Then also we have m1 to be 2 and m2 to be minus 2. So we have this also. Okay, these are the solution. You understand? So that's the end of the class. If you enjoyed the class, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done that before. Hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime you upload new content. Thank you for watching. Bye.